Hi everybody, welcome back to Bring Life Indoors. Uh, my camera is shaking. Oh, I think we've stopped now. <laughs> welcome back to Bring Life Indoors. It's Moira here. Thank you so much for joining me. This morning I thought I will do a video on my propagation corner and yes, I'm in my kitchen. Um, so yeah, and show you what I have here and what I'm busy propagating. And yes, I do have a few displayed around the house, uh, but it's not a lot. Uh, mostly all my propagations are displayed at this corner. Yeah, uh, it's basically, this is my propagation station, if you wanna call it that. And um, I bring all my cuttings here, I display them here, all nice and beautiful, but I'll also tell you why here. Um, but um, yeah, I thought I would just show you what I have and show you how they are doing i'm very excited about it so why this corner in my kitchen why this corner and before i go there do you have a a a, a, a an area in your home where you uh use it exclusively for propagations if you do please share on the comments down below <laughs> i do this is the one corner in my house i use it for i use it exclusively for propagation and it is it all it ne it is never empty <laughs> believe me it is never empty uh, yeah it it always have a cutting whether it's in a, in soil or whether it's in uh, sphagnum moss or whether it's in water um there's always something uh, propagating at this corner in my kitchen so if you do have a corner like that or a spot in your home where you exclusively use it to propagate please share and your reasons why and how is it working for you um, for me I have chosen this corner simply because it's got this beautiful bright lit window <laughs> yeah it's got this beautiful i'm gonna turn my camera to show you hopefully the light won't go all dim on me yeah there we go it's got this beautiful light with a uh, light uh bright lit window you know i get a lot of uh indirect sunlight through this window it, 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 it it's bright all throughout the day it's bright so um and I don't get direct sun, which is cool. I don't get direct sun at all. I just get bright light throughout the day. And um, and the other reason, that's reason number two. The other reason is that um, it's right where I cook. Um, if you check here, this is exactly where I cook. I mean, this is my stove. <laughs> this is exactly where I cook, you know. And it's where I have my kettle stays right here. So when I boil water for tea or to cook or anything, you know, um, yeah, these plants enjoy. They have a bowl. So talk about, let's talk humidity, humidity wise. They are having a bowl because then when you cook boiling water, the brightness, you know, it's warm. It's a nice warm corner. So yeah. Uh, you talk about warmth, humidity, light. Uh, they get it all here. It's it's they get it all here. Everything is covered. Everything is covered. And I've seen that um, when I display my plants elsewhere, just for display purposes or for decorating purposes, they take a while to root because obviously they are not in the in the in the best conditions if you want them to root quickly they take a while they still do root but they take their time you know if i may put it that way they still do root but they take their time but if i put them here i mean this doesn't have um a week in here and look at that we already have roots popping out you know we already have roots for me. So they here, they actually root so quickly here at this corner. Simply because of the environment, um, you know, um, they're, they're getting everything they need. The light is good, humidity is good, and um, what else? And it's warm, <laughs> you know, so they're getting everything they need here. 
so yeah that's why this corner so i must be honest with you every time i mean this is our second home this is i mean um we've only been here i think this is our third year in this house so even the previous house i would have a corner where i exclusively propagate it and uh it, and it will be with those reasons the lighting you know and it's always it has always been in the kitchen <laughs> there's never been anywhere else because the kitchen is warm it's where you cook it's warm humidity levels there are high and um and it's bright it's bright as long as you've got a few windows it's bright so yeah so let me show you what i have going on here uh, before i do that just want to quickly make my cup of tea i love tea do you love tea i do i love my teas i ran out of my honey bush my um ginger and honey tea so i'm having rooibos i love rooibos but my favorite is ginger and honey tea so what teas do you like i also like green tea you know i love it but i don't drink a lot of it i've seen that if i drink a lot of it uh, without taking a break it gives me heartburn i don't know why <coughs> does that happen to you also i love it i do but if i drink too much of it uh, without taking a break it gives me heartburn which is not cool i don't know why but anyway that happens so and uh, i love my rooibos and i love my ginger and honey tea and uh, which i ran out of i need to go grab one and um, i'm not a coffee girl i don't like coffee i love the idea of it <laughs> let's go out for coffee <laughs> but then when i get there i order my tea <laughs> and um yeah what else do i like i love hot chocolate um but it's not something i drink all the time i must feel like it i love hot chocolate and what else I think that's it so if you have a tea you think i would enjoy you can actually share it on the comments below and i promise i'll try it i'll try it out so yeah so let me show you what i have going on here um i'm gonna try because i don't want to take the things off my propagation stations i've recently just yesterday i took the water out gave them fresh water and everything it's just a pain to remove everything from the wall and everything so i'm just gonna pull the plant out and show you what's happening because most of them are rooting the roots have come out and some of the roots are still coming out so yeah so i'm just gonna move i probably would do this because i want to start up there and i'm gonna climb up here right yeah, I'm going to climb up here and hopefully I can reach. <laughs> hopefully I can reach. I'm just going to move my kettle. It's got boiling water in it that I don't bend myself. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. I think I'm comfortable. Uh, yeah, I think you can still see, which is cool. So let's do this. Um, I'm going to start up here. So you can see, if you already know this plant, you would know exactly what I have here. It's my fiddle leaf fig. Um, I have three fiddle leaf figs. And uh, one is a dwarf one. It's doing well, I hope. It's doing well. So far, no issues. But then the growth is so slow, probably because it's a dwarf. <laughs> I don't know, but it's growing so slowly. Um, and the other one, i i think i don't know what happened to it but it was definitely praised a lot not root rot but i think it just got upset with me for moving it i moved it during the winter well when we were going towards the end of winter and man i've never seen that i mean i always I sometimes move my plants around, not always, but sometimes I move them around and I and I make sure that I move them to, if not the same kind of environment with, with regard to where they were, uh, better, you know. No, it was very upset. It was very upset. It just went, you know, and I googled and I made research and everyone was saying 
if it's not over watering or no you are not dealing with root or da, 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 it doesn't like to be moved so it's basically it's not happy because you moved it and it was not recovering and i was scared that i was gonna lose the whole plant i was so scared and i didn't know quite what to do so what i decided doing then was i cut the top part of the branch and then i because they were now like what's the word they were drooping and every day they looked worse than the last time i checked on them you know and i felt like um uh, if i left them any longer without saving the cuts that i can save to propagate um i was not going to be able to propagate anything out of it well that's just me maybe you can educate me on this one please if you know anything about fiddle leaf, fiddle leaf fig please share so what i did i ended up cutting the top part of the branch you know which was you know the the top part of it i cut it and i put it in water and i looked for the branch for another leaf that looked that 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 still had um what's the word it still had it, it was not too flimsy you know it was not too droopy it was still holding itself together and the ones that were way too droopy and they looked way dehydrated i left them alone and and i left it i put it back on its spot and hope for the best and it never recovered and um yeah threw it away i did it was very sad it was very sad that was not cool but i want to show you what's happening look at that uh, I mean it's a little it's a little over a month just a little over a month because i did this mid august ah, yeah look at that there's roots oh my goodness focus ah, i'm so happy that i actually saved this so this was the top of the plant so yeah uh-huh 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 I mean, how super awesome is that? So, yeah, I am so excited about that. So, yeah, it's going in there. And like I said, I was changing water. So, I obviously need to put water in there. Some of them I changed water just now and some I changed water last night. So, um, it's giving them fresh water. So let's top this one up quickly. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness, like showers. Anyway, at least it's just plants here, so I don't mind. I'll clean it up. They appreciate all that. <sighs> anyway, that happens. Yeah, you can see that there's a there's a puddle down here not a lot just yeah anyway that's my fiddle leaf pig i'm super excited about it <laughs> and then the next one is this one this one i was motivated i watched one of adele's video hi adele <laughs> i watched one of adele's video when she was to doing um i think yeah she did a video on her, her rubber plants yeah and then um that the way she was not happy with the way they were growing and she decided to chop them and then um and yeah and now they were doing fine and i thought hmm, why not so i've cut mine there's one sitting in the bathroom that one so far nothing is happening i'm still holding my thumbs and trusting that it'll there'll be a turnaround to it there's nothing new nothing has changed um but it's not dead it's not dead it's still alive and it still looks good but i still have only three leaves so but then this one i'm getting roots look at that look at that look at that ah! i am so excited and if that one dies at least i've got this hey but i'm hoping it will make it because now it's spring it's growing season so i'm hoping for some excitement in the bathroom with with this plant because i've cut this one from the one in the bathroom oh well it's the only plant i have yeah so i only have one of the i only have one of these 
had it i've had it for so long and my goodness does it take that long to grow or am i doing something wrong please help but anyway and the next one is i'm gonna try to take it out without remember i said i cut two so this is one of the one of the branches or the leaves are cut from the fiddly feet to propagate and as you can see can you see that the roots are beginning to come out ah! <laughs> it is so exciting look at those white spots that's roots developing and the leaf is still healthy no issues and it's sitting together with this crouton which has given me more trouble than anything exciting to be very honest it is my first crouton i ever bought and um it was not doing well there's a story about if there's a story i can write is this one i can really write a story about this one then i took it out of the soil i put it in water and um it started developing roots it, it, it recovered then i thought yay i'm sure you saw a video of me replanting these then i transplanted them into soil and all of them did well and eventually again they just went south and i decided to throw them all out but i kept this one because of sentimental reasons i don't know probably because it's my first and then i took it out of the soil and I put it back into water and I've got new roots again. There we go. Yeah. So I don't know what to do with it. I'm probably going to leave it in water. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But anyway, we're going to put that back. That's my crouton. It's doing well. And that's my fiddly fig. It's also doing well. So I'm just going to get off from here and try and put it back without messing water everywhere. Not that I haven't done that already. Okay, so that's what I have on this wall, which I'm super excited about. I love this wall. I love this wall. Now let's go down here, what I have done here. Let's start with what's on the window, right? I've got this skin dipsis. Um, I've got this skin dipsis. Uh, yeah, so far there's nothing happening, no roots, I think. You can see that one is starting to come out, very excited. Can you see that? But this one, nothing yet. But, hey, I'm very patient. <laughs> I've seen, I don't know about you, but with me, skin dapses, they take so long to take root, uh, to root, but I'm very patient. I am super patient. So yeah, all of them. Let me see if there's any difference here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This one has roots. Oh my, look. Here yeah, I am thinking, oh, look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh my, not so bad. And the rest of the cuttings, not yet in this one. So yeah, that gives me hope. So... Well, I've propagated this before and it worked. Um, it's not like it didn't work, but one thing I've seen with mine, see that one has, they just take forever. I don't know, they just take forever, but you just have to be patient, right? You just have to be patient. I'm just gonna put this in water. So I'm very excited. So the two uh, bottles that those ones are sitting in so far, one of them has something. The roots are growing. And here's the third bottle. And same thing is happening here. Others, there's nothing yet, just the notes. And the other one, there's something, if you look there. Ah! So yeah, there's hope. I'm very excited um and like i say for me i don't know about you but for me i've seen that they take forever they really take forever to, to develop roots so i'm very patient with them i'm gonna try and show you this is where they are sitting they're sitting in these lovely wine bottles um yeah the lighting gets so bad because of this window but anyway the next one 
is my arrowhead plant look at that like i said this doesn't have a it doesn't have two weeks in here and it's already giving me that i mean how beautiful is that i love it so yeah that's that's how it looks you know that's a beautiful display hey and then the next one if you follow me on instagram last night i did or was it last night or sometime i did the, i put this on my story this is money plant um a few of my stems were not doing great and i decided i mean the leaves were all brown and whatever and i decided to chop the leaves off clean it up cut it off and stick it in water there was nothing left on it and check what's happening here i've got new growth happening look at that beautiful beautiful growth happening and this one is still coming along i mean how beautiful is that <laughs> exciting stuff yeah that's money plant or money tree and then in this one i've got quite a few things in here i've got my golden pothos in here and uh as you can see the roots I'm going to try and take it out. Uh, making a mess of water. At least it's water, hey? So, um, yeah, I've got my golden pothos in here. Look at those roots. Beautiful, eh? That's my golden pothos. All of them have developed roots. And then, together with it, I've got this baby rubber plant. And look at those roots. I mean, how beautiful is that? And here's another one. Look at those roots. Awesome, hey? So, yeah, that's where they are. I'm just going to put them back uh, without breaking anything. So, that's where they are sitting. They're all sitting in, in this beautiful glass i basically i honestly bought these glasses for propagation i did i saw them and i fell in love with them and i said this is gonna be for my propagation do you do the same <laughs> i do that you know when i'm out of the shops and i see a lovely glassware and i think it will look great with my propagations i buy it and I use it exactly that for that, for propagations. <laughs> Not for drinking. <laughs> so, yeah, not for my water or, you know, whatever I can use it to drink with. Yeah, I'm just trying to put this back. It's not easy. Because you don't want to break your roots. think I've managed alrighty there it is okay um, and then I'm gonna put it right where it was and next to it I've got this um, this I trimmed it off my philodendron Brazil um, yeah and I've sticked them in this lovely bottle so yeah this is my philodendron Brazil no roots as yet because i recently did this so no roots as yet um yeah i was excited when adele sent me a philodendron brazil for my birthday because um mine like i said the leaves were just getting all small like this that's why i decided to chop them um yeah that's what was happening they were not getting bigger they were just growing they were coming out small and staying small so i decided to chop them and then put them in water so yeah that's why i was so excited thank you adele and next to that one i've got this um which are, they drink these guys drink i've got this um zz plant um remember when i did that um this past monday i did a video on my family corner and i said i don't quite know what is wrong with my zz well i took it out of the soil it was root rot so i managed to cut the stems which i can save and then put them in water and uh, here's the rest 
which were not which was not affected it's sitting in water I'm just i just want it to recover from all that and then once i feel it has recovered then i'll put it back into soil so yeah not cool eh well, anyway um and here's my other brazil no roots just that's yet because like i said i did this recently so yeah let's put it back let's put you back so like i said um here's my other one that's sitting in water yep it's my zz yeah it was dealing it with yeah it was all root rot not cool not nice not cool and i'm glad i was able to save these i washed it i cut everything that was affected and then whatever was left of it i stick it in water so yeah and i've got this beautiful propagation station i love this propagation station if i get an if i can get another one i'll definitely buy it and on it i'm not gonna take it off on it i've got my brazil my philodendron brazil cutting again it's what i cut from my own philodendron brazil which i felt everything was coming out small so i decided to chop all those trailings and then put them in water and then here I've got my, this is my different bag here. Yeah. Um, yeah, here it is. And then this one is my heart leaf. I've got heart leaf in here. I've got golden, golden pothos in here. So yeah, very nice. And um, yeah, these are not uh, recent. I did this recently so there's not yet roots yeah there's no roots yet on them i've recently put it put them in just gonna try and fix this nicely Alrighty, what else and um let's see then i've got this um in water my different bag here in water my goodness it takes forever it takes forever you know to to root i don't know you know oh well but maybe because now it's spring it's a growing season i'm sure i'll start seeing um you know but so far it's doing well no issues it's doing very well no issues i've got the cuttings there in water and um what else and then i've got this um philodendron um, red emerald i think yeah yeah it's sitting in spectrum moss i don't know whether i should actually maybe i should check i don't know I don't want to disturb it but it's sitting in spectrum moss i don't want to disturb it at all um yeah it's cuttings um from my philodendron um what to call it a, a philodendron red emerald or emerald red red emerald i think so anyway correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> i'm gonna check that out when i leave here but anyway, yeah, so here is another one. Um, yeah. So I've, I've never, uh, usually I just stick them in water. But this time I decided to just put them in spectrum moss and see how, if they would root quicker than they would in water. So maybe I should take out one and see, right? Why not? I mean, why well, have a propagation video and not show you what's happening here? All right. I just put it a clean wrap to trap in moisture. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this that you can see. My tea, I forgot about my tea. Hmm. That's my son. Say hi, Jay. Hi. There you go. Okay. Let's just 
I'm so scared to just rip it off, but would you do what I'm trying to do right now, would you? Uh... Probably not, right? Yes. They are not long in here, and there's nothing yet happening. I've recently put them in here, so there's nothing yet happening. Can you see? So, yeah, but they're doing very well, even while they're sitting here. Never had any issues. So, there's nothing yet. I've made such a mess. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's what I have going on at this corner of my house, propagation-wise. So I thought I'll share with you and show you my propagation corner. Usually I move everything to the table when I talk about what I'm propagating and I showcase it. But this time I thought I will show you my propagation station, my propagation corner in my kitchen and show you the plants I have propagating here and show you how they are all doing but yeah that's what i am busy propagating at the moment and i'm excited for this season because it's a growing season um i'll be doing my transplants very soon transplanting most of these plants into soil very soon and that's another video for another day so i'm super super excited so thank you so much for joining me it's been fun i hope you've enjoyed this video but I, like i said i wanted to show you all the other propagations i have displayed around the house i'll just do that now Alrighty, i have this golden pothos sitting in this lovely station which i bought from mama's plants <laughs> Brittany in cape town so yeah this is absolutely beautiful i love this so i i'm displaying with it on my shelf i think it makes such a beauty it makes such a beautiful display and then i also have this it's still golden pothos is sitting at my work table or my study table so yeah so so far that's all i have which i'm busy propagating nothing more nothing more but it's been fun that the day i decide to do transplant because soon i need soon i want to transplant all these most of them that has taken root into soil so there will be a video i promise to share that with you and uh, but anyway it's been fun please share what you make of this video what you think of my corner and if you have something like that at home but it's been fun thank you so much for joining me and before i say bye bye i want to say thank you for subscribing to my videos to my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you for giving them a thumbs up and thank you for your comments they all mean a lot i really appreciate you i love you and um to all my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, and yeah, and uh, until next time, bye.